Well, let's speak to a Democratic Party strategist, Joel Rubin. He was formerly Deputy Assistant Secretary of State to President Obama, is now Senior Advisor to Really American, a Democratic Super PAC. It's good to have you with us, Joel. It is quite a turnaround in fortunes, isn't it? March 2020, the governor was being hailed for his handling of the pandemic, his press briefings that were calling, on, uh, calling out the mistakes of President Trump, and here he is, just a little over a year later, uh, resigning in disgrace. Yeah, well, it, it's great to be with you. And this demonstrates once again that no individual is above the rule of law and sexual harassment should never be tolerated in the workplace. And we're seeing uh, that Governor Cuomo, no matter how powerful he became as uh, the governor of, of our, our uh, one of our greatest states, I won't say our greatest state because there are many great states, but uh, he too uh, could fall because of a legitimate uh, misbehavior that was identified and pointed to. And uh, it's a good day for American democracy to have uh, accountability amongst our leadership. And it demonstrates that the Democratic Party certainly uh, believes strongly that this kind of accountability is necessary. I suppose the flip side of it, though, Joel, is that some voters will look at this and say that, uh, albeit these are allegations that were outlined in the Attorney General's report, how could uh, a Democratic governor-run office, administration, allow what was described as a toxic workplace environment to prevail for so long? Yeah, this is certainly not going to be the end of the story, and I think that's why we're watching what Governor Cuomo did today of resigning. Uh, there are questions about the legality and, and certainly about whether or not prostitution could come next. Uh, it's a, it's it's, it's important to step back and recognize that we are having a national discussion uh, related to uh, uh, misconduct, uh, sexual misconduct, the Me Too movement. We've had this for a number of years, and uh, it's good to see that finally we're getting uh, a real uh, accountability amongst our leaders. And I agree with you. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's, it's uh, frankly dismal that for years this continued, that there were people in his office that understood it uh, happening and tried to cover it up. And uh, now there should be accountability for those individuals as well. And certainly the Democratic Party to see the entire Democratic delegation of the state of New York, President Biden as well, say he should step down. Uh, that's a breath of fresh air. That's what we need in our politics going forward. We need the American people to trust that we're putting in, in office people who have high ethics, high moral standards, and who are uh, certainly not harassing, for goodness sake, uh, their employees. Joel, you are a Democratic Party strategist. When you look at the rapidly approaching uh, elections for New York State Governor, November 2022, how do you begin to tackle those after this? Well, what this does is it demonstrates that uh, at the, in the Democratic Party, there's no tolerance, no quarter for this kind of misbehavior. And when it's found out, it's dealt with. Letitia James, the attorney general, elected a Democrat, she uh, laid the hammer down in this case and wrote a report nearly 200 pages long about uh, the malfeasance in Governor Cuomo's office. The Democrats, we have a story to tell that we are accountable. On the Republican side, we're seeing many different instances of sexual harassment, discussion about misbehavior that are not going punished, that are not being rooted out. And that's a real distinction between the two. So uh, one can never say that uh, it, anyone is perfect, but when problems are identified, they need to be dealt with and rooted out. That's what we're seeing today in the Democratic Party. And I think New York Democrats will see a new lieutenant governor coming in as governor. They'll see accountable leadership, uh, an exceptional policy, and they'll weigh that against the other side, which is not holding their leaders to account. Okay, Joel, really good to get your thoughts. Joel Rubin, Democratic Party strategist there. Thank you.